no fun. You're telling me. If I have to watch Elsa go into the unknown one more time, yeah. I'm not going to be able to let it go. <laughs> hey, hey, Artie. Hey, Digger. What's up, guys? Nothing. Yeah. That's what's up. No. Nothing, Mr. Cody. Digger and I were just talking about that. We're so bored. I want to oh. go to a theme park or on a hot air balloon ride. Or, <laughs> or anything. Or anything. Yeah. Well, you know what, guys? You know, you... It, you have to stay here right now, okay? Yeah. And and that's that's certainly really really hard and, and different. Yeah. But listen, different. we can have a great time here together. Well, and you know what? Believe it or not, I really think that God is going to do some extraordinary things during this time. Well, how? Yeah. How is that going to happen? We're just stuck here. Yeah. Well, I know things seem really ordinary, but the truth is, God does the extraordinary and the ordinary all the time. In fact, it's time for Noah's window today to talk, to talk about that. Noah's window. Another uh, week of that. That's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I really like this. And so, you know, the, the cool thing about Noah was he was on that ark with his family. And that was like a really big boat. Uh -huh. And, you know, it was a really dark time, but he had a window in the ark that he was able to look out and it let light in. And so Noah's window is a time for us to let light into the dark times that we're going through. Well, wow. Okay, I mean, what are we talking about today? Well, Mr. today, Cody? and actually this entire week, we're going to be talking about the life and some of the miracles that Jesus did. Uh -huh. In fact, today, we're going to be talking about the very first miracle that Jesus ever did. And you can find it in the book of John. Yeah, John. Chapter 2. Chapter 2. And get this, it actually happened at a party. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, I like parties, don't you, Mr. Digger? Oh, I love parties. You know what parties <laughs> I love the most? <laughs> I just can't resist the disco party! Ba 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 da ba da ba! Oh yeah! Okay, ah, uh, disco! Okay, not quite that. Okay, <laughs> in fact, it was really it was a wedding. Oh, now okay. here's the thing: in the time when this was when this happened, you know, and during Bible times, weddings were really long celebrations. They would last a very very long time. And during the wedding, the family that that the, the was at this wedding, the family, during this celebration, they yeah. ran out of wine. I'm sure they did. I mean, when you have a bunch of people over, what would you have to whine about? No. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Miss Carla says that there should be no whining, Digger. Not, yeah. Not not that kind of, of whining, <laughs> uh, as in the, they, they should stop right? whining. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but wine, it, you know, it was just it was just a, a drink, you know. Oh. It's kind of like grape juice, um, but it was often used in celebrations. Now, here's the thing. The point is that the party ran out of it, yeah. and so Jesus' mother found him and mm. asked him to help. And so Jesus had some servants in the house fill some just regular jugs with just ordinary water. Mm -hmm. Wait, yeah. you're saying that Jesus was asked by his mom to get some more wine, and instead he had this, his, uh, some servants in the house just fill some jugs with ordinary water? Yep, just ordinary well, water. Well, how did he do that? Yeah, well, I mean, why would he do that? You're saying, what happened to the water, Mr. Cody? Well, here's the thing. This is what Jesus did. Jesus churned the water into wine. <gasps> That's right. It was no longer water anymore. Now it was something completely different. It was a miracle. Jesus turned ordinary water in, into wine? Yep. It wasn't a magic trick. It wasn't an illusion. It actually happened. Wow. And here's the really cool thing, Artie. We actually find out that the, the man who was throwing the party, yep. when it came out, he said, wow, you guys have been saving the best wine for the last. Wow. So the, it wasn't just anything. It was super special. It was very special. Like a super fancy party drink, if well, you would. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so you're saying that Jesus helped the party, but to do it, he just used regular, old, ordinary, find it anywhere, water. Exactly. That's see, what he guys, did? That's, that's what our bottom line is for today. Our bottom line is that I can trust Jesus because he can do the extraordinary with the ordinary. We can trust Jesus because he can turn ordinary. everything that seems so repetitive or maybe even boring, but he can do amazing things through those. Like right now, these kids might be frustrated that they can't do everything that they might want to do. But what if they looked at it differently? Oh. You know, what if instead of seeing how looking, looking yeah, at it differently, be, how would they do that, Mr. Cody? I think I get that. You Hold do? On. Hold on. What? <laughs> Digger's always so smart coming up with yeah. ways that all these kids can Look at the situation completely differently. <laughs> so, Digger, how would the kids do it? Like this. Uh, With sunglasses. That is different. Okay, yeah. Well, Everybody is... wear your mom's sunglasses. Oh, yeah. 
Well, that is that's different, different, but that's really not what I had in mind. You could you also see? look at it with one eye closed. You could, or you could do it like this. That's different. I, I didn't mean literally look at it differently. I mean think about it differently. Upside down. Oh. Think about it a different oh, why way. Why do you say that? So gotcha. you know what? You know, the last few weeks, everyone has been, you know, going through some really disappointing circumstances. Yeah. You know, some kids might feel like they're stuck without much to do. Mm -hmm. But we really think that God is doing some incredible things right now. Yeah. And it's just like Jesus did with the water. He took something that was ordinary and turned it into something extraordinary. extraordinary. So the question for these kids is, what does God want to use in your life? What? Maybe they could use the extra time at home to read their Bible more. Oh, yeah. Or, That's a great you know, idea. or they could grow closer with their family, or they could find a way to encourage friends who need it right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what, Mr. Cody? I think you're right. I'm looking at this the wrong way. I mean, God could do something really special right now. Hey, I know. What yeah. if uh, What if uh, I, I drew a picture and I could see if Mr. Gan, Mr. Dan could um, like uh, send the picture or maybe maybe take a photo with his phone and, and, and send the picture to some friends uh -huh. who need encouragement? Oh, yeah. can, I, can I help? Oh, yeah, Digger, that'd be great. Right. Oh, Awesome. That's but a great idea, guys. All right. Well, uh, that sounds like a really good idea, and I hope that that will help them do something extraordinary with just the ordinary things that are going on. But why don't you go ahead, and uh, we'll check in with our good pal, Professor Knows A Lot, and Freddie. Oh, hello there, kids. Hey, Professor Knows A Lot here with my friend, Freddie. Oh, hello. And today we are going to do an experiment that if you will follow along, you can blow people's minds. Well, blow someone's mind. Yeah, do you oh. want to see? Oh yeah, what are we gonna be doing? Well, I'll show you. We'll have two glasses like this one right uh -huh. here. Yeah. Oh. So uh, one of them has water in it. One has water. Uh, and the other one's empty. And the other one's empty. Yeah. And they need to be clear so you can see through them. Yeah. So then what are we gonna be doing with them? Oh, while well, you guys watch and see. Everybody prepare yourself to be amazed. Okay. Is it gonna blow up? No, it's not gonna blow up. You can watch. Here oh, we okay. go. Here we go, ready? One, two, two three. three. Whoa. Wow. Wow, well, Professor, it changed color. I know, it is right. What? And I am not a magician. <laughs> I know that's what you guys were thinking. He's a magician. No, I'm not a magician. I'm actually more of a trickster. Because this trickster. was a trick. But in today's Bible story, Jesus did not pull a trick or a magic trick. He actually turned water into vine. And so it's what we did here was- It we turned it into a vine? It was like a food, uh, super fancy party doing. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's right. And I will show you how you guys want to do this at home. Oh, yeah. yeah how'd you do that? I will show you now. Okay, so what you will need is another one. This is so you can see. An empty glass. Yeah. And then you need one with water. Yeah. But then this is what you don't know about. Everyone say, tell me. Or tell me. Okay. It, please. The secret is you use some Kool-Aid packet. Kool-Aid? Yeah, and the dark red ones work better, but sometimes we have pink, sometimes you have blue. Yeah. Oh, Professor, I love Kool-Aid. Okay, so you're gonna pour some Kool-Aid. Yeah. Don't put the packet in there, because people will see that. But what you do is you open it up and you will pour in the powder at the bottom. Oh. Yeah, do you see that? Oh, that's sneaky, Professor. It is sneaky. Oh, yeah. But it's okay to be sneaky sometimes. Now, so then what you do is you will pour the water into the powder and put, you saw what happened to you on try to one more time? Let's throw the gun. Okay. Oh, so that. three, two, two one. one. Whoa. Wow. That's so cool. Yeah, it's Kool-Aid. But anyway, it's pretty cool, oh, yeah. see? Uh, can I drink this? Uh, you, uh, funny. <coughs> funny, I did. Uh, Professor, what'd you do to it? I That's did not, not Kool-Aid. I know, I didn't put any sugar in there. Oh, well, funny, <sighs> it's okay. So guys, here's your mission if you choose to accept it. You can do the same um, turning the water into vine at home, and maybe you can film it and maybe like retell the Bible story of Jesus' first miracle. Yeah, but if you're gonna do this, you should probably put sugar in it. Yeah, well, no, I don't, you know, sugar's optional. It's really just for, anyway, I hope you guys have fun with that, and remember, I'm glad you're here today. See you later. Bye, guys. Thank you for tuning in to the first episode of our third week of Noah's Window. We have had so much fun putting together these episodes for you, and uh, we really hope that they've been a source of encouragement for you 
and what has been a difficult time for a lot of people. You know, we're so excited as we talked about the miracle, the very first miracle Jesus did, and we're going to be talking about miracles all week long. And I think it's exciting when we look at who Jesus is. There's nothing that would be more of encouragement and light into our day than the miracles of Jesus. So we're going to be unpacking that this week. And I love that we talked about today how, how Jesus was able to take something ordinary, something that no one expected much from, just a jar of water, and he did the extraordinary. And I think during these times, that's a challenge for us, for kids, for parents, for everyone watching, to think that whatever we're in, we might feel stuck, we might feel like opportunities have dried up, but God doesn't look at it that way. God sees opportunity where we don't, and God can do the extraordinary with the ordinary. So we hope you remember our bottom line, I can trust, I can trust Jesus because he can do the extraordinary with the ordinary. And here's what we'd like to know from you. What is it that God is asking you to use in your life? Think about it. Ask God, God, what, what part of my life do you want to use to further the message of Jesus Christ? We look forward to hearing that in the comments below, and we look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow on Noah's Window. Thank you.